no great man dies with his mantle every man who dies leaves his mantle behind because mantles are not needed in heaven power is not needed in heaven grace is not needed in heaven mantles are behind Elijah was living with his mantle the Bible said that the mantle fell because it's against the character of God for you to live with your mantle do you know what a mantle is? a mantle is a dimension of God that a man trapped sometimes it takes years to download a mantle what you call a mantle is a dimension that somebody trapped in Christ so he leaves it for his generation as an inheritance no types and shadows are required the new testament is not a testament of handkerchief as mantle hello dear i know by the grace of god you are fine a lot of pastors and prophets have their own definition of mantle jesus christ is our mantle whether we like it or not those pastors and prophets who talk about mantle don't even believe the water baptism and the spirit gospel in which a lot of people have idolized items down on them I'm going to show you a video from Apostle Johnson Suleiman Try to let us understand that no man of God will die with his mantle. Let's listen to him very quick. No great man dies with his mantle. Every man who dies leaves his mantle behind because mantles are not needed in heaven. Power is not needed in heaven. Grace is not needed in heaven. Mantles are behind. Elijah was living with his mantle. The Bible said and the mantle fell because it's against the character of God for you to live with your mantle. Elisha, we see today, Gehazi did not take his mantle. His mantle was in his graveside. The Bible says when they were burying a man, the man's body touched the bones of Elisha and the man jerked. Because mantles are not taken out of this world. The mantle of Catherine Kuman, the mantle of Kenneth Hagin, all the mantle of the Archbishop, all those mantles are still around. But until men are ready to pay the price, they can't assess the mantle. You must pay the price that those men paid to assess the mantle. But people are not ready to pay the price. There's a price to pay. If you can pay that price and you can focus on that cross. Flamboyant lifestyle. While we are going FL on, analysis. Eh? We spend time in VG seeking face of God. Fasting, praying. But the younger generation of these days are online commenting on who is right or wrong. That is why the work is becoming cubersome for generous. Generous at 80 are still doing crusades because no one is ready to collect mantle. All the younger generation are spending their time on nonsense. How many of them spend time on the mountain? Spend time fasting? Spend time praying? If you really walk with this spirit, called the spirit of God, there are times and weeks he will tell you to go off social media. For weeks. So if you cannot disconnect for one week, two weeks from those things online, you have not yet encountered this God. Apostle Michael Rupu also added up by saying this. A mantle is a dimension of God that a man trapped. Sometimes it takes years to download a mantle. What you call a mantle is a dimension that somebody trapped in Christ. So he leaves it for his generation as an inheritance. That's why fathers leave inheritances. One of the inheritance fathers leave for a generation are mantles. And sometimes God tries a man for many years for him to be able to download a mantle. So the dealings of God for five years, for ten years, is actually a downloading process. And that man will have to be guided in the path of righteousness for a long time. Because that mantle is downloading. God wants to leave an inheritance for a generation. So he makes the path of a man narrow. And as that man journey in that narrow path, it looks as if he's been disadvantaged. No, no, no. That man is downloading something for 50 generations. And when the man graduates and completes that downloading process, that thing becomes what he handles. If he's living, he can say, take. Take it. You may not need to go through the process of downloading again. He went through that process. David is saying for a man to be mighty with God, he must be guided in the path of righteousness. Because there are many things littered in the path of righteousness. Only the men who travel there can look upon them. They can look upon them. So these things becomes paths that men follow. The way of Enoch. The same way the way of Balaam is a way in darkness. There are ways and paths of righteousness that men carved in God. They say to be great and to be relevant, you must join in the path of righteousness. You know, these are the things that our generation don't want to hear. Because we want to shine. We want to shine with our garbage. 
The reason is because your garbage is not revealed. If your garbages were revealed, nobody would want to stand in the pulpit. It will be few men you will find behind the pulpit. Flamboyant lifestyle. FL analysis. Thou leaded me in the path. When your heart, when your soul is restored, you now hear him. He said, I have many things to tell you, but you cannot receive it. He said, how be it when the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. That part of guidance that the Holy Ghost makes available is the part of righteousness. And then you come to places, you find things pertaining to your destiny, hanging on different corners. And you will come somewhere, you will pick something and you will hang it here. You will not even know when it's happening. But all of a sudden, you came somewhere, you touched somebody. And because you touched somebody, you have imparted a blessing. You will show up somewhere and a demon begins to cry. You will be wondering, oh, where did I study it? How does this thing happen? No, you didn't study it. It was part of the armory that they decorated you with as you joined in the path of righteousness. So that the day you reach for you to be used of God, you would have been fully dressed. Because you will need something to wear on your leg. You will need something on your hand. You will need something on your chest. The problem is that they are in the path of righteousness. You will see what the psalmist said. Because after he journeyed, a point came. He said, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, it is a concerted protocol in the spirit. First, the record of death must be deleted. So I migrate from what I know to what God knows. I am known as he's known. I journey from within me to within God. And as I enter there, God begins to lead me, to teach me his way. He said, when I have journeyed through this path, what is next is the devil will come. He said, but even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, fear is no longer a part of me. Because now I know, I know something. He had carried me through light. And because I understand the syllables of light, there is nothing darkness can bring that can take me unawares. Because the light will always shine in the darkness. And the darkness cannot comprehend it. These are journeys of becoming relevant with God. Dr. Ebel Damna also reacted massively about what mantle really is. Let's listen to him. They just make reference to people. Look at verse 9 again. Verse 9 of Colossians chapter 2. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. All dwells in Christ, not in bread and wine. The fullness of God is in a person. It's not in a ritual. In him dwelleth. Now, the word fullness is the word completeness completeness the completeness of god is in christ the completeness look at verse 10 then oh and you are complete in him you don't need anything outside to complete you you are complete in him who is the which is the head of all principality and power the head of all principality and power that word complete refers to a fulfillment when something and all the demands of it are met then we say you are complete meaning all the demands that you will have had to meet has been met therefore on the basis of meeting all the demands you are complete where in him where are you in him meaning no ritual is required no types and shadows are required. The New Testament is not a testament of handkerchief as mantle. It's not a testament of olive oil as anointing. It's not a testament of water baptism as symbolic of death, burial, and resurrection. No. It's a testament of reality. Our anointing is a person. He lives in us. Our mantle is a person. He lives in us. Our bread and, and wine is a person. He lives in us. Jesus is the oil. Jesus is the bread and wine. Jesus is the mantle. Jesus is the completeness of deity in a bodily form. And you are complete in him. Why all the demands by vain philosophy, plain nonsense, idle fancies. Look at that Colossians. We are still there. Chapter 2 verse 10 now. <clears throat> And you are complete in him which is the head of all principality and power. Verse 11. In whom also 
you are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands made without hands in putting out the body of the sins of the flesh shown of Christ so if the circumcision of the believer is not physical why should he look for physical elements the circumcision is a spiritual circumcision put that scripture up again for me the circumcision is a spiritual look at verse 12 verse 12 you will love this buried with him in baptism wherein also you are risen with him how through the faith of the oppression of God who, ha who hath raised him from the dead 13 and you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh have he quickened together with him having forgiven you all trespasses next verse blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us which was contrary to us and took it out of the way nailing it to his cross nailing it where to the cross all right now this nailing it to the cross is not in the original there is no nailing it to the cross he took it out of the way full stop if you're a christian watching me and if you believed in the baptism and the water gospel you are anointed you don't need any man of god mantle for you to verify yourself that you're a son or a child of god listening to all those pastors that they have the mantle of god they see what they have to see in the spirit and all those things they are cool if you also avail yourself and be submissive to the spirit of god and also meditate on your own self and the most important thing is reading the bible and understanding it you can also be a leader within your own means i'm not trying to say mantles are bad but immediately you idolize a pastor in which you think that pastor is having something that you really need that is going to add up to your life that is very dangerous the bible has let us understood that anyone who has accepted jesus christ is anointed so why are you chasing people for their mantles most of them their mantles are not from god some are devilish mantles because we don't know the spirit in which is working through them so you have to be very careful if you are watching me be very careful of those people who call themselves pastors and prophets they can let you sway away in which your soul will be perishing in sulfur thank you very much for watching this video and i will see Flamboyant you another lifestyle. time